This dish is corn Moroccan tagine. This is a traditional tagine. The shape of this lends itself to a long cooking process through steaming and braising of meat. We're using corn pieces, which is very quick to do, so we're just using a frying pan today. Just gonna add a little bit of oil to our pan. And the first stage is the brining of the onions and the garlic. I'm gonna let that cook for around three to four minutes just to soften off. Okay, the onions have reached the right stage now. They're softened, they're colored slightly. So we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients. Now this is harissa paste, which is a North African chili paste. I like it quite spicy, so I'm gonna add a fair amount. And to that, we're gonna add some more spices as well. We've got some ground cinnamon, we've got some ground cumin, and some ground coriander. It smells absolutely amazing. I just wanna incorporate those just to throw off the spices, just to you know cook out the harshness. The next stage, we're gonna add our corn pieces, which are low in fat. Alternatively, if you wanna use the corn fillets, just slice them down, add them to the pan in the same way. And we just wanna cook these off for a couple of minutes just to get some color on them. We're at the stage now where the corn is colored off beautifully and we're ready to add the rest of our ingredients. Add some tin tomatoes. Red pepper, some sliced courgettes, some dried apricots, and some almonds. And that all gets incorporated. This is all coming together now. With the last stage now, we're just going to add a little bit of stock and a teaspoon of honey, just to sweeten the dish ever so slightly. Just give that a quick stir and that's going to be left to simmer for 15 to 20 minutes. Excellent, everything's ready now. I'm serving my tagine with some couscous, some chopped coriander and some lemon wedges. There you go, Moroccan corn tagine. How easy was that?